keeps playing scary music. <laughs> All right, today we're gonna to find out what exactly is it that triggers a Tesla alarm. Specifically, this is the Tesla Model 3. So the way card keys work at the moment is because my phone's in my pocket and my phone is registered as a key, I can open this without having to unlock anything. And then if I walk away from the car, once the doors are locked, any second now it should beep, and that signifies that the car is locked. There we go, and then the window's tuck in. So what I need to do is I need to put my phone, Becky's phone, and also my Tesla card far away from the car so that it doesn't think I've got a key. So we'll leave them right there. So now when I walk up to the car and I try and open the door, it doesn't let me in. If I try this door, it also doesn't let me in. And you can see because I don't have a key, if Becky, you could just try and peer through the window, you can see that sentry mode is activated, which basically is the car filming people that are nearby. So on this little camera, if I just give a little sync and I do a wave, hopefully you should be able to see me. So let's find out how much we need to do to actually activate the alarm. So the first thing I'm going to do is just try and open all of the doors just repeatedly. And so far that doesn't seem to have done anything. Not letting me in on the boot either. Hello to the rear view camera. Let's try the side doors. Still not letting me in. And we may as well try on the final door, which is the, uh, the front. Although there's nothing really to grab hold of there, but I'll just kind of do this a bit. So that's not set the alarm off, which to be honest, I would say that we did quite a bit there. I kind of wish that the alarm did set off at that point. So messing with the door handles does not trigger the car alarm. Now, the car alarm has gone off for us twice while we've used it, and both times we didn't want it to. And the scenario was we had our dogs in the back seat and we didn't put the car on dog mode because the, the weather was absolutely fine on that day, so there was no reason to. So we left the car with the dogs in the back and then randomly the alarm started going off. So I can only assume that the car could sense movement in the back seat. So I'm gonna now unlock the car with my Tesla key. I'm gonna move the dog crate out the way. I'm gonna give Becky the card. I'm gonna get in the car and I'm just gonna sit in the back. Maybe I'll start jostling about a bit and we'll see if an alarm goes off. Interestingly, I just wound the window down to say hi to Becky while she was locking the car. And now that the car's locked, I can't wind it up or down. So anyway, let's just start jostling about and see if an alarm goes off. Still no alarm. Obviously I am inside the vehicle. So I think we really need to... <laughs> I think we need to repeat this test with this window wound up just in case it does anything. All right, car's unlocked, so I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Wait, Becky, you need to lock the car. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Something really interesting is happening. I don't think you caught on camera, but the screen was flashing for a bit then. I think it was me pressing the unlock button. But anyway, I've just unlocked the car from the inside. Let's see if I can get back in. Because obviously we don't have a key on us at the moment. Right, it's immediately locked. So I guess that's obviously a, some kind of safety measure in case someone gets locked inside of the car. That makes sense really, doesn't it? But yeah, we've still not set the alarm off. So I think at this point, the car is very much locked. It's not on dog mode. Oh, I just unlocked the back door. What's going on? <laughs> the card and the keys are over there. So let me close this. Can I get back in? Right, interesting. What about this one? That one's still locked. I think basically me being inside of the car has unlocked some kind of perhaps safety measure because if people are locked in the car, it wants to let them out. How bizarre. Let's see if it opens the boot. No. It doesn't open the boot. It's just the one door. So it's literally only, only the back left door. It's still unlocked. This one immediately locked after I touched it. That's very weird. So let's unlock the car and reset it. We close it, we lock it, and then we walk away. Right, I really want, uh, thanks Vic. <laughs> right, I really want to set the alarm off because we've not yet done it. So none of our tests so far have apparently warranted the car being set off. So, car is locked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a, a bit of a pitter patter along the side. Still not setting off any alarms. Maybe I'll knock on the glass. Not setting off any alarms. 
Come on, Becky, you give it a bit of a tap. Well, that's not <laughs> going to do anything, is it? Sentry mode is activated. Hello. Right, I think we're going to have to start shaking it about, to be honest, if we want to get an alarm to go off. So I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to end with me sitting on top of the car, let's be honest. But I want to do a bit of a shake. We are not setting it off. Really not bothered, is he? It really isn't. So obviously it's recording us this whole time. So when the owner came back to the vehicle, we'd be able to see everything that gone on. And I'm interested to see what that just looked like. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously no alarm. And when the alarm goes off, you get a little notification on your phone saying the, uh, the alarm is triggered. So obviously you're going to run out to your car and make sure everything's all right as soon as possible. But that's not very helpful if you can't get it to set off. Okay, I'm stood on the back wheel and I'm having a little dance about. The car's shaking. <laughs> I'm jumping about. And we're still not setting the alarm off. <laughs> Let's have a little bit of a lie on it. <laughs> Smile for the thumbnail. So the alarm's still not going off, guys. Why is the alarm not going off? <laughs> How do we get the alarm to go off? There's a car coming over there um, from that private area, so I think we don't want to look too suspicious. <laughs> Just having a look in safety and security. Eight sentry mode events occurred, which is obviously me faffing about climbing on top of it. I was just looking in the safety and security section, and you can see that security alarm is permanently on. You can't turn that off, so it's not like we had the alarm deactivated. And tilt slash intrusion, which I'm not 100% sure what that is either, but it sounds related to the alarm. That's also permanently stuck on, so we can't turn it on and off. Now, obviously, since the alarm went off when our dog's in the back of the car we've had several software updates so potentially one of those software updates has messed with the alarm so car's just locked itself as you've heard i'm gonna leave all three keys over here and poke myself in the eye and now what we've done is we've opened this window because we saw someone in america do this test and this did actually set the alarm off so it's perhaps as if the window's been smashed open so now that the car's locked i can't get in obviously but i'm gonna like fiddle about maybe i'll like press the brake that's not setting the alarm off. <laughs> oh, so I can close the window. Can I open any other windows? We'll try the one over there. Yes, I can, even though we have no keys on us. And now can I open the door? <laughs> nice car. How much did this cost? <laughs> Why? All right, can I open it again? Okay, can I open it from the outside now? Yes I, yes, I can. I mean, I've only got one key card. There's not another one in here, is there? <laughs> even so, you have to put it against the door. Right, we're leaving my wallet that doesn't even have anything Tesla related, and we're putting it over here, and we're also going to turn Bluetooth off on both our phones, just in case them being all the way over here still means that they're, they're somehow connected, okay? Bluetooth off. In fact, let's just go airplane mode. Let's not take any chances. <laughs> all right, both in airplane mode. Key all the way over there. Let's set this alarm off. Come on. To be fair, that's probably because of it being unlocked from the previous test. Let's go lock it. <laughs> okay. I've, I've unlocked my locked car. No, I haven't. I've locked my locked car. <laughs> the car's locked. Let's leave the key over here. This is the one. Can we open the door from the inside? Yes, we can. <laughs> and now, it's just unlocked. The, the back door's unlocked. Does it say how far away the keys needed to be? Well, we've turned Bluetooth off. We've put them on airplane mode, so they, they, don't, they don't count as keys anymore. And the card, the only way to lock and unlock is like this. Like, if you have the card in your pocket, it still won't let you in. Well, come Nick Jack's car then. <laughs> All right, windows back up, car currently unlocked, car is now locked. So you see, even though the key's right near the car, I have to put it on there or it doesn't open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it far away, even though I don't need to. Maybe it recognizes your face. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd let them off. 
Look at this, both my shoes have gotten untied in the stress of it all. <laughs> right, let's just see if we can set the alarm off. Shake and test. So remember, both keys are currently on airplane mode. So they, they, they don't work as keys because it uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But once again, I'm doing this. Sentry mode's not even on, it's completely given up at this point. What if I rock this side? Go on, you give it a rock. Maybe it is my face. Hey, <laughs> cover your face up. I don't think I'm really rocking it. It's off! <laughs> what the heck? It's playing scary music! <laughs> Come and look at it from the front. Did you know it did that? I had no idea that it did that. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it, it, what did you do that triggered it then though? I don't know. You weren't even, you just kind of walked You covered around. your face. That is so weird. <laughs> that was so strange. So you were here. So and then I, the, I, I tried to open the boot. You tried to open the boot. Yeah. Right, let's have another go. Bear in mind that it stopped without the owner doing anything. I've not like gone onto the app and stopped the alarm. It's just stopped. I guess it's trying to scare people off. So I'm trying to open the boot again. I'm gonna go over here and shake it about. Yeah, you do it. You're the, you're the one that's able to get it to do stuff. As if it plays scary music. <laughs> right, I'm shaking the car around like as much as I, as I can without wanting to damage it. <laughs> Picked up a bit of speed there. Let me shake it from down here. <laughs> Should we give up? I wanted to play the music again, that was amazing. This is Becky's test. She wants to attempt to stick her hand through there with a stick and try and unlock the door. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure why, but I'll lock the car. <laughs> All right, Becky's big stick test, here we go. She's going for it, she's going for it. She has unlocked the car, and uh, she, she's getting into the car. Ah, but she can't start the car, because she doesn't have my key card. Well, honestly, that's kind of weird. It's really difficult to set the alarm off. You saw that we did a lot of tests there. We didn't have any keys nearby. I turned all of my keys off. But yeah, the alarm didn't set off. So I feel like definitely some improvements are required there. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. We upload twice a week on this channel. Where's she going? <laughs> so make sure that you do subscribe because every time there's a software update or a new feature or something that we want to test, I will be uh, covering it on this channel. All right, thanks a lot and I will see you later. Thank you.